How's it going YouTube? I'm Poker James here. So we're back with part four of our Spin and Go Max Through the Limit series. This time we're moving up to the $30 limit. This is the first limit really where you're going to have the the end boss regs. So most of the, the regs and end boss type players will play the 30s, 60s and 100s. Um, there are some people who only play the 60s and only to play the hundreds, but they're often people who are just chasing like exclusive leaderboards or just play high stakes MTTs or sit and goes or um, spinning goes. And they are often not playing to the caliber where spin max only regs are. So worth pointing out, um, I think the games are toughest on the 60s and the hundreds, but the 30s, you do see some of the best players on them. Uh, what you will notice with the 30s, the rake is 6.5%. Um, the games are still incredibly soft. You won't find many other $30 games on the internet that are as soft as these. And um, I think most times of the day you could at least six table these games. So there's enough traffic for them. Queen free, we're going to go for a raise. We want to play against people that we think we can beat down post lop so we play a little bit wider than I normally would wouldn't go too much wider though maybe queen two suited but not too much wider than that I'm just gonna try to take it down if they don't have an ace we can probably just take it down directly on the flop so that's what we'll try and do we've got a four-handed game as well so what you'll notice on the 30s and higher is that you can have a plenty of four-handed games with two people paid so you get a lot less winner take all spots so you really need to know how to play uh, in two paid situations you need to know your ICM you need to know um, what to do when it comes to um, coming up to the all-in phase you don't want to be putting in your last chips on a, a, a gamble if there's not much of a reason to double up for example you need to like just a basic awareness of stuff like that you want to be aware of okay if we're a chip leader going in then we can survive the first all-in all-in round so that's very useful we don't want to risk losing that um, advantage so yeah plenty of strategy stuff that you have to become more aware of when there are more people paid Whereas the 15s and lower, you get a lot of uh, winner-take-all spots. Anyway, we got all four games now running. We've got a friend of the stream on the table, Ace Baby. Hello, hello. And we got a six-handed game as well. So it looks like we're going to have one winner-take-all and three uh, two places paid, which is, I think, a fair representation of how the 30s do play in general. Um, Queen four suited, I'm actually happily to over limp. It's one of the few games where I have an over limping range on the button. Uh, I just think that when it comes to multi-way pots, you see some players doing some incredibly bad plays. So you wanna keep the stack to pot ratios uh, very big. because then their mistakes get compounded. So I like to just over limp rather than isolate. Pocket fours, we're gonna see a flop with it. We flopped a set, very good. Um, I would recommend in multi-way pots, especially ones that are fairly uh, draw heavy to just bet out yourself. You do not want it to be checked through multi-way because people will often have lots of draws against you, uh, equity against it. So we go for the bet. Turn card is an ace. I'm not really sure what they could call again with, but we do need to kind of protect against those uh, flush draw, straight draw type hands. So we have that half pot. Could go a bit bigger, I guess. But yeah, nice little takedown. Um, on table three, so down the bottom, we're representing a king very nice spot to represent as well so it worked out six two we get to place plenty of hands from the big blind because lots of people do some limps which is good for us of course 
get to see uh, free flops. Generally with those hands, I wouldn't recommend playing back against your opponent. There's no need to. You just got given the opportunity for free. So just take it. Queen Jack, we've got a fold to all this action going on. Um, 10 9 might be a hand that we could flat call. It depends on how aggro our opponents in the blinds are. If they're very aggressive, you don't want to do it. If they're not, uh, you don't mind seeing multi way pots with it. So, yeah. So, down on table three, we're now playing some heads up poker. Just plays the same as a spinning go, basically. So, no change in deviation in strategy there. Pocket sevens. Um, we faced, I think it was a button limp, but I'm not sure. I, I would like to mark them as a recreational. If, if I've missed that, that's my mistake. Uh, King Jack, I open raise, check the flop. Now we're going to have to call the turn. 2-9, we're going to give up. Am I going to hero call the river with King Jack? I think we have to. We're getting way too good odds. Way too many misdraws. Yeah. I think that was a like just an incredibly bad play from our opponent. If you're in a spot, if you're in spots where you got lots and lots of bluffs, go for the bigger sizing to put pressure on because <laughs> I'm now not going to fold pretty much anything. Uh, there, pocket tens. We're hoping we can get back into this game really. 10-9 suited, could call, but I won't. Ace-free against the non-all-in free bet. I generally respect those as monster hands, so I'll fold. Occasionally we get notes on players that will let us know if we can uh, fight back against those spots. Some people are doing that with all sorts of trash. Pocket nines against Queen-Jack, we've got a flip. Hopefully we can win. Nice, we get the win. Jack nine, unfortunately, has run into ace king. When you have four big blinds deep, you just gotta, you just gotta pray at this point. Uh, queen ten could raise. Now we're gonna take a flop. All right, so we're down to two tables. Unfortunately, let's bring these down. Um, I'm going to flat call kind of trap in a way, our queen 10. They could have hands like kings and aces for sure. Um, so it's not like we have a completely unbeatable hand. But yeah, we've got a decent stack on both. Hopefully we can cash or win both if possible. 9-4. A limp checked. So on these like all low card boards, I just don't bother trying to to bluff people off these. They're they're, they're floating really wide. They're attacking really wide. They're being quite uh, quite sticky slash aggressive. The general player pool on spin maxes. So I don't I don't mind just giving up on those boards. Whereas when it comes to like all high card boards, they're often very easy to get off hands. These two will fold. So we're coming up to this point. Final few hands on both tables. Final 10 hands, final 6 hands. And we just got to start looking at, okay, what am I doing in, in regards to the rest of the table? Right now on table 4, we are chip leader. Or I should say table 2 now, because there's only two of them. We are chip leading. We've got 825 chips. But there are two people that are very close in stack size to us. And then uh, Fassi Bear, if they double up they would also be similar chip size to us as well so we have to be aware we we want to kind of stay the big biggest stack if not second in chips is also pretty decent uh, so we want ace king to win i think we got the the old please restart your client thing i hope we don't have to please don't Please restart your client. I think it's going to happen every hand now, which is just what you want. 
Um, yeah, this is something that happens a lot on Spin and Go Maxes. I, I think it's the only game type that I see it happen to. So if you're not comfortable with dodgy software, <laughs> don't play Maxes for now. Uh, it has been an issue for about, I think, a year. So it hasn't been something that's been properly resolved yet. So I would be a bit worried about it. Uh, if you're playing lots and lots of tables, it can be an absolute pain. That please restart client thing. Uh, hopefully, we can make it through these last few hands here. If we can't, then that sucks. Um, so last three hands, we don't want to be the shortest stack. So we're going to really pay attention to that. We're going to just shove really wide here. Hope to not be called wide. We got the recreational mark on them, so think we can get that through quite often 770 they've got so we can fold here I think happily uh, we do not want that to happen okay good second in chips is all right obviously we prefer to be uh, chip leading but it creates a pot where a spot where if we win oh dear that's not good at all yes yes it is <laughs> thankfully the chip leader won there it was not looking good for us um i would love to show you how much we won for second place i think it was 30 or something i don't know um seems like we have now completely uh, lost connection so i'm gonna have to close the poker stars client which is now bugging on me close the program close it uh, and then we're gonna open up poker stars again yeah, this is just something you have to deal with. It's not great. Um, I don't know why they haven't sorted it out. We've sent logs in plenty of times. Uh, yeah, hopefully the table will load up. Okay, we've lost a few hands, which is uh, very upsetting because... Okay, we want Queen 10 to win. It's looking good. Wow, what an action turn. That's very annoying. Um, okay, well, we are second in chips. That's, that's ridiculous. Anyway, we missed some hands, which is never great on those last few hands. You really want to be <laughs> be able to, to like, sort out your chip stack, basically. Uh, and we're going to bubble here. And I'm pretty pissed off about that to be honest with you not i'm not gonna lie that's really annoying um could have got 30 dollars we don't know what we had in those final two hands uh poker stars please i don't know what is going on with your software recently well over the past year really but yeah that's that's how it goes i guess um thank you all for watching if you enjoyed seeing what spin max is all about the good bits and the bad bits please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already um the next videos in the series will be on the 60 and 100 dollar limits those have 5.5 percent rake uh they've got plenty of two plus people paid games in them and they've got plenty of regs in them compared to the rest of the games so they will be different there won't be everyone limping there won't be everyone just every hand is a four-way or three-way pot um from the 30s down to the ones that's a different story they're very plenty soft so yeah there is a difference so if you guys are looking for a place to chat about spin and go maxes in terms of strategy uh or just want to meet other met spin max regulars and just uh, see what it's like on the different limits Feel free to come over to our Discord channel. It's free to join. Link is down in the description below. Discord is just kind of like a, a forum where you can chat um, and it's got threads for all the different sections. So we got it also for spinning goes. We talk about hand histories, cash games, everything. But yeah, specifically given this is a Spin Max video, come here, join us, join all the other eggs. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.